Hello everyone. Brutal honesty right now because that's what we're about on this channel. Um, I started filming a vlog yesterday. It was going to be episode 3 of my entire physical TBR challenge and I chose the book. I read like the first chapter and I just was not into it. Like I could feel myself slumping and I feel like it's because I really disliked the last book I read. Um, if you've watched my last video, you'd know. But I just couldn't, I just couldn't read it and I just, I felt myself getting into a slump. So we're scrapping that video. I might come back to it at some point, but i just feel like i need to mood read for a few days to just get myself back into that reading mood to try and stop the slump so that's what this is going to be it's going to be a little vlog this morning i started icebreaker by hannah grace i don't know why this book was just calling to me it was like this is the book that you need to read right now so i started it and i am 57 pages in which is chapter seven and i'm really enjoying it so far i decided to annotate it and i already have quite a few tabs considering i'm only 50 pages in almost 60 pages in this is so so good so far this is like an um arrivals enemies to lovers kind of romance i think the angle changed okay so the blurb says anastasia allen has worked her entire life for a shot at team usa a competitive figure skater since she was five years old, a full college scholarship thanks to her place on the Maple Hill skating team, and a schedule that would make even the most driven person weep. Stacy comes to win, no exceptions. Nathan Hawkins has never had a problem he couldn't solve. As captain of the Maple Hills Titans, he knows the responsibility of keeping the hockey team on the ice rests on his shoulders. When a misunderstanding results in the two teams sharing a rink and Anastasia's partner gets hurt in the aftermath, Nate finds himself swapping his stick for tights and one scary coach for an even scarier one. The pair finds themselves stuck together in more ways than one, but it's fine because Anastasia doesn't even like hockey players, right? So this is a college sports romance. Anastasia is an ice skater and Nate is a hockey player. And so far it's given me like reverse grumpy sunshine vibes. Like Anastasia is really not happy with the situation at all. And she's the grumpy one, whereas Nate is trying to make it work. Um, and it's really good so far. It's really easy to read. I'm really, really liking everything about it. There's a lot of diversity as well in the characters. Um, there's disability rep. There's also LGBTQ plus rep. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. And um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't expect to like this book this is like a um really viral tiktok book and as we saw from my last video i don't really always get along that well with viral tiktok book recommendations i don't know why but this one i'm really enjoying it so far and i hope that it continues to be great also i'm really upset about it because this is the old like indie published copy which i love but now they've published like a normal standard sized paperback and I just know that the rest of the series when it comes out will be in that paperback smaller version and so then the editions aren't going to match so maybe i'll have to buy a, a small one as well if i do love this which is fine because they're cheap at the works um but yeah this is the book that i'm going to read to try and get me out of my slump and let's see how it goes okay it's a few days later and i'm going to give an update on icebreaker by hannah grace I'm currently on page 159, which is like not even halfway yet. I'm reading slow, but I am still really enjoying this book. Anastasia and Nate have kind of started seeing each other a bit. Nothing's happened yet with the, um, on the blurb it says that Aaron, her skating partner, supposedly gets injured and can't skate anymore for their competition so night steps in that hasn't happened yet um but they have started seeing each other um i really really like night he is so like caring and anastasia is so me she's like really quite grumpy and like bossy she just reminds me of myself which i love and yeah i'm really enjoying it i've annotated the shit out of it i don't really have any other updates 
I'm just going to carry on reading and I'll speak more about it when I'm a bit further in. This has literally just become an icebreaker vlog, which is fine. Um, I have 80 pages left of this book and oh my god, it is so good. <sighs> so, obviously I explained that Aaron, or at least I think I did, Aaron, Anastasia's um, figure skating partner got injured and Nate had to step in. Um, and so they've been practicing together for a while. They've now got together, like it's it's very serious and it's very cool because before she met Nate, Anastasia was very much a commitment phobe and she didn't want a relationship at all. But Nate is so, so good to her that it made her want a relationship. Like he is so caring, so thoughtful. He's just, he's incredible. Um, and <laughs> to be completely honest, there's not much plot other than that. The rest of it is literally just like scenes between Anastasia and Knight. Like there's not much plot in the grand scheme of things, but I'm still really enjoying it. In the final 80 pages, I don't know what's going to happen because the competition that Anastasia has been preparing for is coming up in about a month and Aaron is supposed to be able to skate again by the time the competition rolls around but they've fallen out so I, I don't know what's happening. Aaron is a terrible guy like I'm so glad that he got injured to be honest like he's not a nice person at all. Um, yeah I'm really loving the friendship dynamic between Knight's hockey team and Anastasia and Lola who is Anastasia's roommate like they have a really good friendship group like it's so funny like the group chat texts are hilarious and I just love the relationship that they have um yeah I don't know what else to say other than this book is incredible like I did not expect to love it this much and I do I just don't know how it's gonna end because like I said the plot isn't there it's it's just pure vibes so i guess i'm just gonna have to carry on reading and just see what happens at the end um because i literally have no guesses there was also like this thing that happened that i wasn't expecting at all and it was terrifying oh my god but yeah it was unexpected which again is good because oh, this book just offers so many things and it's so good so yeah i'm gonna try and finish it tonight and just just see where this takes me because I have no idea. Hello I'm finally back with my final update for Icebreaker. I finished the book. I have never annotated a romance book as much as I annotated this one like this book had everything that I would possibly want and more. It started as a rivals to lovers um, college, sports, romance. It quickly became one of my favourite things in the world. So the author, Hannah Grice, is actually English, I'm pretty sure. Um, but this book is set in America and like just some of the British humour was still used and it made it so much more fun for me. Like the humour and the sarcasm was so, so good. Um, the relationship between Anastasia and Nate, I loved. Um... I loved the friendship group between all the hockey guys and Anastasia and Lola. Like, I really, really want to be a part of that group. Um, the epilogue was so cute as well. And, yeah, I just really, really love this book. There are definitely trigger warnings. Um, things such as um, disordered eating is mentioned. Um De talk about death of a parent there's references to depression and stuff so definitely look up the trigger warnings before you go into this book but this was so much better than i thought it was going to be and i really really can't wait for the next one in this series to come out um and i'm really really glad that i liked a tiktok hyped book because as we all know from the, the past vlog i did not like the last tiktok book i read but this one I think I'm going to give it five stars. I just just love it and I'll just... I'll need the next one. Um, 
I actually also think I'm gonna have a book hangover from this. Like, I don't know what else I'm supposed to read after this series. I can't get this world out of my head and I can't get these characters out. But yeah, that's that. Thanks so much for watching this video. This kind of accidentally turned into just an icebreaker vlog. I didn't intend for that to be this video, but that's what it came out to be. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye.